billions of years of evolution on Earth have resulted in a huge variety of different types of organisms. For more than 2,000 years, humans have been trying to organize this great diversity of life. The classification system introduced by the Swedish botanist Carlos Linnaeus in the early 70s has been the most widely used classification for almost 300 years. The field of biology that deals with the process of identifying, naming, and classifying organisms is called taxonomy. The term is derived from the Greek word taxis, which means arrangement, and nomos, which means loss. Taxonomy is sometimes referred to as systematics, in reference to the orderly arrangement of organisms into groups. With a tremendous diversity of living organisms, it is too chaotic to study these organisms without assigning names to each species and without grouping them into distinct groups. Taxonomies name organisms by assigning them with scientific names that are made up of two Latinized words, genus and species which are usually based on the characteristics of the organism, the location where the organism was first found, or the name of the discoverer. The use of scientific names gives a distinct identity to a particular organism and avoids confusion as opposed to using common names. He may already be familiar with commonly used taxa, such as the kingdom and species. A kingdom is a major grouping of organisms such as plants or animals. A species include only organisms of the same type, such as humans, homo sapiens, or lions, Panthera leo. The modern biological definition of species is a group of organisms that are similar enough to mate and produce fertile offspring together. In a classification system, kingdoms, species, and other taxa are typically arranged in a hierarchy of higher and lower levels. The most influential early classification system was developed by Carlos Linnaeus. In fact, all modern classification systems have the roots in Linnaeus' system. Linnaeus was a Swedish botanist who lived during the 1700s. He is known as the father of taxonomy. Linnaeus tried to describe and classify the entire natural world. In 1735, he published his classification system in a work called Systema Naturae, or System of Nature. Linnaean taxonomy divides all of nature into three kingdoms, animal, vegetable or plant, and mineral. Both plant and animal kingdoms are subdivided into smaller and smaller categories of organisms. It is almost impossible to name different species without assigning them first into groups. Taxonomists classify living things in a meaningful way by looking for physical characteristics that are common or different among organisms. Modern taxonomy even uses DNA sequences produced by organisms to identify the similarities or differences between species. Classifying organisms will help explain the great diversity of life on Earth and how organisms are related to each other. In order to fully understand our own biological evolution, we need to be aware that humans are animals and that we have close relatives in the animal kingdom. Understanding the relationships, similarities, and differences between the species is important for us to appreciate why we are on top of the food chain. Taxonomic hierarchy categories. The hierarchical system of classifying organisms is significant for an easy and systematic way of finding a category where an organism belongs and how it relates to others. A closer look at the different levels of classification will reveal that as we go down from the kingdom to species, one and one to seven. Following are the important taxonomic hierarchies organisms are classified. Kingdom. The kingdom is the highest level of classification, which is divided into subgroups at various levels. There are five kingdoms in which living organisms are classified, namely Animalia, Plantae, Fungi, Protesta, and Monera. Phylum. This is the next level of classification and is more specific than kingdom. There are 35 phyla in kingdom. Animalia, for example, Prophera, Cordata, Antropoda, and etc. 
to class. Class was the most general rank in the taxonomy hierarchy until phyla was not, were not introduced. Kingdom Animalia includes 108 classes including the class Mammalia, Reptalia, and etc. However, the classes used today are different from those proposed by Linnaeus and are not used frequently. Order Order is more specific than rank than class. The order constitutes one or more than one similar families. There are around 26 orders in class Mammalia such as primates, carnivora, and etc. Family This category of taxonomic hierarchy includes family. Family this category of taxonomic hierarchy includes various genera that shares a few similarities. For example, the order of Car carnivora include Philidae and each other. Genus A genus is a group of closely related species. The genus name is the first part of the scientific name of an organism. A group of similar species forms a genus. Some genera have only one species and is known as monotypic, whereas some have more than one species and is known as polytypic. For example, lion and tiger are placed under the genus of Panthera. Species Each species has a unique identifier that describes only the species. It is second word in a two-word naming system than a scientific name of species. It is the lowest level of taxonomy hierarchy. There are about 8.7 million different species on Earth. It refers to a group of organisms that are similar in shape. Four, reproductive features. Species can be further divided into subspecies. To remember the order of the taxon, Linnaean taxonomy it may help to learn the sentence to help remember a list in which the words begin with the letter as the taxa K, B, C, O, F, G, and S. One sentence you could use is King Philip came over from a green sugar. Binomial nomenclature. The single greatest contribution that Linnaeus made to science is his method of naming species. This method, called binomial nomenclature, gives each species a unique two-word name, also called a scientific or Latin name. Just like we have a first and last name, organisms have a distinguishable two-word name as well. The two words in the name are the genus name and the species name. For example, the human species is uniquely identified by its genus and species name as Homo sapiens. No other species has this name. Linnaeus chose to use Latin names for practical reasons. During his time, Latin is a common language used and understood by many biologists. Latin words are ideal for names because most Latin words are descriptive. Thus, it is suited to identify and to describe the characteristics of an organism. Today, many modern languages have words of Latin origin. Taxonomists name organisms using Latinized words that usually describe the organism. These words could give us clues as to the characteristics of the organism, the place where it was first identified, or even the person who first identified the organism. For all these reasons, there was a simple name by which a species could always be identified. This led to a great deal of confusion and misunderstanding, especially as more and more species were discovered. Linnaeus changed all that by giving each species a unique and unchanging two-word name. Linnaeus' method of naming organisms was soon widely accepted and still used today. Taxonomy is a scientific classification of organisms. Scientists classify organisms in order to make sense of tremendous diversity of life on Earth. In the classification, system, kingdom, species, and other taxa are typically arranged in a hierarchy of higher and lower levels. Linnaean taxonomy groups organisms in a hierarchy of taxa. Linnaean's binomial nomenclature gives each species a unique two-word name. Thank you.